DeMar DeRozan and the Chicago Bulls started this season on fire, and I and many others said that it was a fluke, said that this team was not really that good, that they were going to cool off, yada yada yada. And while I still don't believe in the Bulls as legitimate contenders, I was 100% wrong about DeMar DeRozan. This dude is a legitimate superstar, and not only has he kept up his production from the start of the year, he's actually gotten better. The man is currently averaging 28-5-5 with a steal on 52% shooting from the field, 87% from the free throw line on 8 attempts a game. The man is carrying the Chicago Bulls. He is absolutely carrying them, specifically lately with Zach Levine out with an injury. When he got hurt and Lonzo and Caruso have been struggling with injuries this year, I was like, all right, this is where this team is finally going to struggle. They're going to start to fall in the standings. But no, because DeMar DeRozan has gone out and made history by doing a record. He has broken a record by Wilt Chamberlain, which is something that never happens. All the time you see records, quote unquote, get broken. And there's a caveat at the end that with the exception of Wilt Chamberlain, it'll be like, oh, this scoring streak was amazing except Will Chamberlain's here that was like 10 times as long. Stuff like that, you know what I'm talking about. But DeMar DeRozan has become the first player in NBA history to average 35 points on 50% shooting over seven straight games. Will Chamberlain previously held the record with six. That's ridiculous to break a scoring record by Will Chamberlain. Like, I don't think it's getting talked about enough. How utterly insane that and how DeMar has been playing in general is. This dude is a hyper-efficient scorer. He is incredibly clutch. He's a very good playmaker. His defense has been decent. Not great, but decent. And he is carrying his team to currently be tied with the Miami Heat for the first seed in the Eastern Conference. The Bulls right now are 38-21. and 21. That's insane considering how many injuries they have had and they also have the third best offense in the league and while there are a lot of good offensive pieces on this team like I said Zach Levine is missing time right now Nikola Vucevic started this season hurt DeMar DeRozan has been the one consistent for this team throughout the years and I got to admit I I didn't believe in him before this season but I got to say right now the man is a legitimate superstar and a legitimate top 10 player in the NBA he is insane. And if the Chicago Bulls are going to stand any chance of looking like legitimate contenders, of making a real playoff run this season, because, you know, I've, I've said it a bunch of times, I'll say it again, I don't see this team getting past the second round. I don't believe in their defense. It's really just because I don't believe in their defense. But if they're going to go anywhere, it is going to be on offense. And as good as Zach Levine is, as good as Vucevic has been lately, as good as some guys like Lonzo can be when they're playing, it's going to come down to DeMar DeRozan continuing to look like an MVP caliber player if the Bulls are going to get it done in the postseason this year. And I'm, I'm excited to see what he can do. I'm really happy for this guy. He's been through a lot. He's uh, If you followed DeMar DeRozan for a little bit, you've seen that he has had struggles with depression. It really took his toll on him when he got traded from Toronto. He's had issues with people in his life dying. Like, the man has been through the ringer. And he has stayed strong and become one of the best players in the league after being legitimately a joke after 2018 with Lebronto and the way that he was seen as a playoff choker. This dude has his chance to completely turn the narrative around this season. I'm happy for him. I'm really happy for him. Never, never like a big fan of DeMar DeRozan before this season, but dude's playing incredible, and I hope he manages to keep it up. Obviously, I would like the Sixers to win the East. Uh, I do not want the Bulls to win, but nevertheless, I hope he keeps playing this amazing, and he starts getting the respect he deserves, because I feel like the NBA media kind of talked about him in the beginning of the season, and then just stopped, and I really haven't seen much about him in the last few weeks when he is playing the best basketball of his career. So yeah, DeMar DeRozan, MVP candidate, legitimately, don't have him over Embiid or Jokic, but like, he's up there, he's up there on the top five with Curry slump and Kevin Durant being hurt, and if he keeps playing as well as he has been, 
I mean, I'm not going to have any choice but to really put him into that top three conversation with Giannis Embiid and Jokic. They've had it on lock for like a few months now, but DeMar DeRozan could really break into there if he keeps his bulls at the top of the East and keeps playing this well. Give the man his damn respect.